Cassettes and chains can get really dirty, and everyone loves riding a clean bike. They look nicer, they're faster, and the drivetrain's more efficient, and regular cleaning will make your components last longer. But cleaning takes time and effort, and it can be really difficult to get every last bit of dirt out from intricate components like chains and cassettes, but not with one of these. This is an ultrasonic bath. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use one of these, what they can do, and also where you can get one. They're not especially expensive. Ultrasonic baths, also known as sonicators, create tiny little bubbles induced by high frequency sound waves to agitate or vibrate the liquid that's inside the bath. And these agitations or vibrations in the liquid create huge pressure on any dirt or contaminants that are on the object that you put inside the bath, whether that's your cassette, your chain, or any other component you want to clean. The cleaning action also penetrates blind holes and is excellent at getting into tiny recesses and cracks, making it ideal for cleaning something as complicated as a chain. They're also often used to clean jewellery, and as an organic chemist, I used to use them to sometimes clean lab apparatus, but also uh, you could use them to actually dissolve stubborn solids into various solvents, which was important for various chemical reactions. You didn't need to know that, but a bit of a sort of nerdy fact for you. Anyhow, we're gonna clean this filthy chain and cassette. Now, if you want to pick one of these up yourself, you can do on websites like Amazon for around 50 pounds or sort of $60 or so. And they go up in price, generally depending on the size. I think this one was about 80 pounds. You'll then wanna put some kind of cleaning solution inside the liquid. So something aqueous based is gonna be best. And ideally, we'd always say use something a bit more environmentally friendly that's not gonna destroy the environment. So something like this biodegreaser from Muckoff would be great. You can also use solvents like white spirit and they're very powerful and potent at cleaning things, but they're not quite as good for the environment. And also factor in that you know, that there is a health and safety thing here. You don't want to get this kind of stuff in your eyes. And also, they can be highly flammable. So just be careful with that. White spirit isn't too bad though, because the, well, the auto ignition temperature of white spirit is about 240 degrees. So it's quite hard to set it on fire without a naked flame. But uh, still, it's well worth being careful with these things. And, you know, I have to stress, I would recommend you use something that's a bit more environmentally friendly. I mean, if you are a total chemistry nerd, then you can actually recycle white spirit using a distillation still. That does fall within my weird skill set. But most people are just gonna probably chuck it down the sink, which isn't very good for it. Also remember, anything that you do put in the bath is gonna be more potent at cleaning than it would be normally. That's because the bath is able to warm it up, which helps clean, but also the vibrations improve the potency of the cleaning as well. So you can actually use water and just a drop of washing up liquid, and that will work pretty well in most cases. On some nitrile gloves, just to stop any nasty, dirty stuff getting on my hands. Uh, take out, looks like I'm gonna fry some chips, don't it? <laughs> it's not a deep fat fryer. Right, I'm gonna put my dirty chain in here. There we go, look at that. I'm also gonna put the, ca the cassette in, in there as well. In fact, I'm gonna put the cassette in half and half, because that way we might get like a nice half clean, half dirty thing going on, which would be pretty cool. Right, and I'm gonna turn the bath on. Vibrating away, and we'll drop it in. That's uh, working its magic. Now this is cleaning. I've set a timer on the unit for five minutes, so we'll see how it turns out after that. I don't know if you can hear it on the camera, but there's like the real high frequency vibration, sort of sonic waves and. Uh, I guess if you were a dog, you'd probably find it really annoying. Uh, it's quite loud. Now in theory, you could use this to clean all manner of bicycle components, so brakes and derailleurs and things like that. But this kind of system is gonna be excellent at stripping grease out of bearings. So 
For example, if you were gonna be putting in something like a, a rear derailleur, it might be worth removing the jockey wheels and just cleaning them separately because the grease inside the little bearings on the jockey wheels will probably get stripped out and you don't necessarily want that. You could use it to clean bearings, but just bear in mind, you'll have to take out the seals and re-grease them again. If you've got a really dirty chain like the one I've got, then you'll probably want to do a couple of immersions like this where you, you change your cleaning solution, put a fresh batch in and do the chain again. One of the things that's useful as well is to use brushes to help loosen the dirt. And I'd actually suggest that you kind of clean all the surface dirt off as best you can first with it on the bike and, and using a hose pipe and some degreaser and then immerse it in the bath because the bath is best at penetrating in between the rollers and the links of the chain and getting the dirt that you can't normally reach and loosening that. So the water had a kind of greenish tint from the muck off in there but it, I mean it's completely changed but it's like brown and grey black now it really is stripping that dirt off the components. Right that's all done. I'm quite excited to see how clean this comes out because my chains never normally get that dirty. This is one of size chains, obviously. So now it's done, I'm going to take the chain and cassette out and I'm just going to rinse them with some water under a tap just to wash off any residual dirt that's just left on the surface. But the sonicator, or well, the ultrasonic bath, should have loosened any of that dirt so it should just come off nice and easily. Right, so I've just rinsed these off and you can see the cassette, that's incredible, like where it's been half in and half out of the cleaning solution. So this cassette, truth be told, wasn't the filthiest, dirtiest cassette in the world, but you can see there on this half where the SRAM logo is, how it's much, much cleaner after just, well that one's just been in sort of 10 minutes compared to that side, which has still got all the dirt on it. That's cool, but this chain, I mean, check this out. That's just much, much, much cleaner now. You can eat your dinner off it. Right, I hope you found this video useful. And if you have, then consider following us on social media. And also, why not check out some more of our videos? We've got a load of other ones with other useful cleaning tips.